This week I'm going to be talking about notorious American frontier crime families. And I'm going to start in my home state of Kentucky, of course. Beginning with the Ohio River Pirates, the Harp Brothers. During the late 1700s, Micah Harp, known as Big Harp, and Willie Harp, known as Little Harp, gained notoriety as America's first serial killing duo in the frontier. Now, funny enough, the brothers were not actually brothers, but first cousins. But they grew up together, so they referred to each other as brothers. They were born to Scottish settlers in North Carolina, although there's a lot of things about their early life that we haven't been able to trace due to their consistent changing of aliases and documentation being a little lacking from that time period. Now, they were tied to several crimes during the American Revolution. They were loyalists to the kings, although not for any real duty other than getting paid. At one time, during the American Revolution, they were known for kidnapping women, and they actually kidnapped a general's daughter and forced her to marry Micah. They eventually embarked west, and they went on a violent crime spree that left a trail of terror across several states, including Tennessee and Illinois. You might be surprised to learn that one of their notorious camping hideouts was actually in Cave and Rock, Illinois. You might have been there camping and had no idea of the crazy history in that spot. Now, Micah and Willie were known to target isolated settlements, travelers, and even some Native American tribes. The brothers displayed a complete lack of empathy or any remorse for any of their crimes, and it wasn't even for financial gain. It seems like they actually just enjoyed committing crimes. Their crime spree did eventually come to an end in 1799, when they were apprehended by a group of vigilantes. Now, this group of vigilantes even included Captain James Wood, whose daughter had been kidnapped and forced to marry Micah. Micah Harp was shot during the capture and confessed to 29 murders before he died, although the real numbers believed to be a little closer to 50. After a brief trial, Wiley Harp was found guilty and sentenced to death by hanging. His execution took place in July 1799. Now, it is rumored that the brothers' heads were placed on spikes in what is now modern-day Dixon, Kentucky, about 25 minutes from my hometown, actually. Harp's Head Road, there's a road there called that, that is the rumor of where the heads were on the spikes. Are there any crazy stories from your hometown in the 1700s? Please leave a comment below and let me know.